Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you a movie app uh, in uh, ASP.NET Core and just I want to create ASP.NET Core Web API and front end I will use uh, Angular. So here we have a simple demonstration. On the basis of the demonstration, I will create a simple app related to the movie. And where we have some functions like search movies, genres, actor, theaters, movies, login, registrations, and can activate routes, guard, etc. All the features of the Angular and just I want to create on the basis of the ABI. So this is the simple prototype just I have, uh, have created that is genres where you can just create a new genres like drama, comedy, action, fiction, sci-fi movie and the animation. And uh, here we have a create genres uh, like the drama, save changes. In this video tutorial, just I'm going to show you uh, how to use material design in Angular and uh, lots of things about the Angular. And, uh, and you can say that uh, that is the genres and the creating actors like name of the actors, date of the birth of the actors, select pictures, biography and like that. And here we have a search movies options, theaters, movies and actors and lots of options are available in a movies app. So wait for some times I will create it because uh, during the login process I will use a JWT authentication and many more things about uh, ASP.NET Core as well as uh, and Angular. So let's get started and uh, just create a movie app. First of all, I'm going to add a new Angular Movies app. So create a new folder in the on the desktop like Movies Project and just create a new project uh, in the Angular. Uh, if you want to add a new project in the Angular, just you can do like ng uh, new and the name of the project that is Angular Movies. After adding this uh, CLI command ng new and the project name, just uh, Angular asking some questions like uh, routing. Uh, if you want to use routing that is trash yes and CSS SAS and lots of options about the styling so you can select CSS. After creating the Angular project you just uh, get started that project in uh, Visual Studio Code. So just open the Visual Studio Code uh, uh, with entering uh, the Angular project. So let's get started. So here you can see that here we have Visual Studio Code and uh, project is open Angular Movies and here we have lots of folders like Visual Studio Code, SRC, under the SRC we have uh, lots of files like app, assets, environment, favicon, index.html file, man.ts file and lots of files that is already discussed in the previous tutorials of Angular. Now just go to the terminal uh, by using the terminal um, menu bar. Uh, menu tool options and by using a um, terminal you just go for uh, serve the angular uh, project so if you got that type of error this command is not available when running the angular cli outside a workspace because we are uh, actually working in the outside workspace so just first of all entered into the workspace that is actual project in the angular so here we have a outer uh, folder uh, outer directory of your, of your project so just enter into the directory first of all like cd angular movies and after that you have to uh, press the right command like ng serve and after pressing the command you can realize that your mm, uh, your address will be delivered by the angular terminal and you can say you just by using control da control click options you just navigate to the uh, websites like uh, localhost 4200 so just navigate it.
if you want to create a genras folder outside the app folder just you can just enter into the angular movies folder and after that you can just move into the src that is source file and if you want to create a new component inside your uh, src then you can do it but uh, that uh, that is the main logic or you can say that that is the right thing you can do uh, add a new folder uh, under the app folder so src it's enough ng g gss for the services and create a folder first of all genras and after that we have to create a new service genras dot uh, genras service and you have a you can notice that by default the injectable uh, decorator is uh, under the service class uh, that is the genra service but later on i will uh, discuss on account service on the basis of on instead of genra genra service so here we have a genras folder and you can can say that if you want to create a new model just uh, you can press uh, genras.model.ts under the genras folder you have to create a new folder a uh, new file like genras.models.ts uh, typescript file and in the typescript file you have to create a new interface and you can also uh, create a dto's folder so export interface interface name that is genras dto under the genras dto you have to add uh, two uh, things only that is the id and the name so id is by default the number and the name is by default string type now after adding the uh, genras model.ts file you have to add a new uh, uh, component for the genras like index genras where all genras are displayed so cd app um, just uh, under uh, the app folder you have to say nggc c for component index dash genras dash dash skips dash test i want to add a, a component that is genra index genras where the list of the genras will display in the later videos so here we have a genra service and index genras is also there uh, just i want to use genras.service.cs just i want to create a new method that is get all where all the genras are displayed with the edit and the delete options you know that but uh, before going to the adding uh, uh, html uh, before going to adding much more details first of all just know about uh, uh the, the return type that is the observable you you know that in the service so uh, get all is the type of generalized dto just i want to get it that is the return type and i want to use http module uh, in, in this file so the best thing you can do it in that is http module file http client module file under the model.ts file and you can say that return uh, that type of array that is generalized dto uh and id is one and the name is drama looking like that but uh, if you, if you are working with the database api so just of all first of all create a new database uh, api uh, in uh, asp.net core so first of all you can know you notice that uh, you can just create a new project in a visual studio core visual studio uh, in asp.net core so you notice that index genras dot component so you can just inject that service under the index dot genras dot component by using in the constructor so you can just add private genra service is a type of genra service and by using the this dot genra service you just get uh, you just pick uh, or you can say that just call the get all method that return the genra cto by default okay so that that you can see
now uh, if you are working with the HTTP client module just uh, you can say that uh, in under the app.module.ts file you have to add a new comp uh, you have to add a new uh, uh, register component first of all that is the HTTP client module and uh, HTTP client module is under the um, angular slash common slash HTTP so import HTTP client module and HTTP client module have under the ignore that so uh, if you want to use HTTP client module so first of all add a base URL for the base URL first of all create a new application in ESP.NET Core web API in Visual Studio so just configure your new project that is uh, movie app and uh, just create a new next and ASP.NET 7.0 standard support and okay and create it by default and uh, ID is the number like that now your movies app is created and now add a new folder under the movies app and you can just add a models folder and under the models folder you have to create a genres uh, model so add a new item and under the new item section you have to create a new genres.cs file under the genres.cs file you can notice that uh, by default you can notice that genres.cs file So here we have a public class genras and uh, here uh, I'm going to add public ID. So uh, ID and the name only, uh, only two parameter I have to add first of all. So public class genras and here I'm going to add two parameter and the two fields like public integer ID and the next one is public string name. and the next one is mbc controller add a new button and create a new controller that is genras controller with the controller action method because just I want to pick URL only so just uh, I want uh, URL I mean I want base URL and the path of the genres path of the API project so here we have a API slash controller name that is in RAS and just I'm going to get the base path URL and just I want to uh, set the base path URL under the environment uh, variable environment variable we have two options that is the production in environment and the development in environment in the both uh, in the angular section just i want to add 
environment dot product dot production dot ts file as well as the environment uh, i mean to say that in the development environment set the base path in the angular Okay, so here we have generas this dot generas service dot get all method just I'm going to picked up and in the service section you can notice that get all method with the gender uh, gender uh, generas GTO but notice that uh, gender service is the uh, default method that returns generas GTO I'm going to use HTTP client module instead of the local uh, local method so if you are using HTTP client module, then you can use a base URL. So the base URL is actually existing in the environment.api base URL. So just add uh, base URL equals to environment.api base URL. So you are not using where keyword in, in the base URL because that is the class is exported. Okay, and now I'm going to uh, use get method of HTTP client so wait for some times so observable of the type because it uh, get all method is actually written observable type and observable is actually you know that uh, what is the kind of observable uh, asynchronous uh, output you 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 will get so it's a type of observable and who is the subscriber that can use this type of method so get all uh, written observable and the generas GTO. So return the generas GTO in the form of observable. And by using the HTTP client dot get method, just pass that base URL and slash API. Sorry, under the API, we have base URL like API slash and the controller name that is generas controller. Okay, so generas is the name of controller okay everything is fine now the next oops uh, getting an error under the observable because it's a written type that is generas gto but we are not using uh, observable is under the rxjs and uh, rxjs you know that it's a library and of the java javascript so observable is a type of generas gto so just i want to type specified under the get section so you can use it uh, generas gto under the get method
now after adding the uh, subscribe method in the index generals.component.es file just open your api project and where you can create a get action method where you can just return the list of the generals gto so here we have a enumerable type and just i want to convert it task of the type and i uh, action result of type list of the type also where we generate generals okay so just i'm going to create a default mock data with the in the generals so list of generals just i want to return it okay and you can check it on your browser that is services uh, uh, applied on your uh, api or not and uh, because you 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 will get an error message on the basis of the course property okay okay so uh, wait for some times i will resolve the course property related errors in the console So if you got an error message related to the course property, just open your API project and under the program.sys file, you just uh, add the origin uh, or you can say that add course, add use course in the middleware pipeline. So builder.services.add course and in the course, you just have to uh, provide the options and uh, like add course and under the options, and you can notice that options options start
add default policy and under the default policy you can just define the builder where you can set the origin as well as allow headers etc so you can after that adding the course property in your application you can just use your, your uh, course related data or you can say that api is mapped with your uh, angular application you can check your uh, application output on your browser console Okay, now we are going to add an angular material in our application so getting started with angular material and you know that how to add angular material you notice that angular material is the latest version is 15.1.4 but it's not working right now with your application with your angular application so just install the previous version that is 14.2.7 and you notice that it's a uh, previous version installed successfully but the latest version is not successfully installed so install the previous one and use it in angular uh, material design after adding your application uh, angular application uh, angular material in your application so just you can notice that your uh, material component is you can use it so if you are using material component just add api reference of your material uh, component into your model.ts file if you are if you want to add a, a material components in a separate module file so just create a module file separately and adding the reference of the module file that is separately separately created uh, by the user or developer and adding the reference to the man module file okay so you just you get uh, get us uh, let's get
Now, on the basis of the material design, you have to create a new uh, material toolbar. So, create a new component uh, in the uh, in material uh, form. So, here we have a NGGC and the menu and with the skip test. Okay, so uh, menu is actually a component file under the uh, Angular Movies folder. So, if you want to move it uh, in the apps folder, just you can just drag and drop and you can use it. Okay. So just I want to you know that all these folder and all these components are under a folder if you uh, exist then you can use it okay so under the menu uh, just create a new toolbar menu with the options with the router link and router outlet you just define the router outlet in your uh, in your man app component file and menu you have to design with the primary color and the icon file etc so you can just start art and design the menu with the options without router links and after that we will configure a routing in in our angular application so uh, it's a basic video tutorial of creating angular app and a scratch project totally scratch project will design in angular related to the movies so you can just create it uh, if you like this video please subscribe my channel and also press the bell icon if you like this video please uh, press the like button and hit the like button you can say and also you can say that uh, uh, it's a first day video and if you are interested to watch its second video and if you want to second video of uh, the angular movies app please comment me because I need your comment uh, because I I need your comment to realize uh, that key that uh, you are uh, interested or not okay so you can do it uh, the whole uh, you can do uh, in your uh, in your computer to see the whole videos okay thank you very much